The click of the camera along a busy stretch of highway. The sound of his lens capturing these flowers, balloons, and the names of the three kids who were killed at the corner of 54th and Main. It helps photographer Robert Hill Long get up close and personal with some of our worst reminders of tragedy, roadside memorials. In order to take a good photograph of these things, which are pretty low to the ground, you can't just stand up and look down on them. You have to get on your knees. This memorial where three kids were hit and killed while crossing the street with their mom in February is just one of dozens of Robert's roadside photographic tributes. Like this black and white shot taken in May 2014, the blurred background of Highway 99, a lone helmet hanging on an American flag. Or this one, nearly a year later, also on Highway 99, a photograph of the man who died, a Honda emblem nailed to a cross. Trying to bear witness and trying to, I don't know, pro provide another form of commemoration, something that may be more permanent than the memorials themselves. Each road or corner, cross or flowers tells its own story. Robert says you might not ever know how people lost their lives, but it's his way of learning their history, at least how he imagines it. I don't know if he worked in, in that hazelnut grove, but, you know, his cross being there suggests something like that to me. Sitting in his office clicking through his photos. It's there for anyone to notice, though people rarely do. Robert hopes these snapshots also serve as a warning. They are in their own way, like the signs that talk about speed limits. Markers Robert feels are perhaps ignored as cars drive past this corner where three kids were killed. A lasting image showing the reality of how fragile life is. Their injunctions to the people who drive by to not forget, but they're also prayers to not be forgotten.